Hello and welcome to Vidra Ambroid channel and also welcome is to the series of video tutorials on MSP432 using simple link SDK and CCS. Today in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can interface the 1.8 inch TFT LCD display using a spy with the MSP432. So this LCD is based on ST 7735R driver and it is a color LCD. So now moving on to the uh, connection diagram. So here you can see that okay, these are the pin uh, connections, how the 1.8 inch TFT display is connected to the MSP432. So if we can see here, the first pin is a chip enable pin and the second pin is the reset pin and the third pin is the register select pin or also called as a DC pin and the fourth pin is the D data in pin and the fifth pin is the clock pin and these are all the not user pins and the uh, last but one pin is the ground pin and the last pin is the VCC pin which should be connected to the 3.3 volts and here you can see that okay so the chip enable pin is connected to P4.6 reset is connected to P6.4 and DCR register select pin is connected to P6.5 and data input pin is connected to the 1.6 that is a P1.6 and the clock pin is connected to the P1.5 so that's all for the pin connection how the 1.8 inch TFT display is connected to MSP432 now let's get started with the code. Now go and open the Code Composer Studio. So we are going to use the one of the uh, existing project that we have created in the last tutorial that is the Nokia 5110 LCD. So copy this and paste it here and rename it as uh, 1.8 inch underscore TFT underscore LCD and then click on copy now click on this project and expand the project so we would like to remove these two files because we don't want these so remove these two first ok and uh, rename this to let's say tft lcd underscore main underscore thread C5 okay and then also change the sysconfig file name so this is also name it as a TFT LCD okay now go to the TFT LCD underscore main underscore thread dot C file here and then if you scroll down so we don't need all these things okay remove the ADC so we need a GPU and a spy so we also don't need this display let it be okay it's not a problem so we don't need this input file and yeah we don't need this ok so that's all for the code here save and click on this is config file to open the configuration so now once the sys config file is open uh, here you can see that the display driver is already uh, enabled and also we needed uh, three GPIO pins one is for reset another one is for uh, chip enable or chip select pin and the other pin is the uh, DC pin or the register select pin so we will use these three pins and apart from this we need to configure the spy you can see here the spy is already added uh, these configurations are uh, came from the previous project that we have configured here that is uh, Nokia 5110 underscore LCD so if you don't know how to uh, um, configure this please watch my previous video tutorial on Nokia 5110 LCD okay. and here you can see that so we are using a config spy 0 and it is a 3 pin ok we are going to use only 3 pins and uh, here if we can expand you will be able to see all the uh, pin numbers for clock and the MISO and the MISO ok so that's all for the configuration now click on the project and then click on the hammer icon to build the project make sure that the changes are reflected into the automatic generated code so now you can see that uh, code is compiled successfully so to communicate with the uh, 1.8 inch TFT display so I have modified the uh, uh, one of the existing libraries for the STM32 so I will provide the libraries in the link in the description so that you can go to the my github repository and then you can also download the libraries uh, from the repository itself also let me go to here and under the library section so you need to copy all this and then go to the code composer studio 
and click on here and paste it here. So now you can see everything is pasted here. Okay. So once it is done, go to the tft underscore lcd underscore main underscore thread dot c file here. So the first thing is here include the header file that is uh, hash include so st double seven three five dot h file. So once this is done, so as you know this is the spy configuration. So first we need to declare the spy params also for the spy handle, and then we need to declare the spy transaction. And then we need to uh, do the spy initialization here, and this code is something related to the virtual COM port. And here you can see uh, the spy parameter initialization, and the bit rate that we are going to uh, give it is a 4 megahertz. So you can also go for 8 and 12 megahertz, no problem. And the data size we want is 8, okay. And the transfer mode we are going to use it in the spy mode, blocking mode, okay. And so and then we are opening the spy connection. And checking for the whether the spy connection is open correctly or not. So then uh, here, so we need to call the functions that is st and double seven three five and underscore init. So which will initialize the LCD and then uh, we don't need this. Okay. Now here call the function call demo tft. So this function will provide uh, how to use the different functions of the The display driver that is ST double seven three five driver. So now to see the implementation of the demo TFT, so click on the control and click on the demo TFT function. So it will go to the demo TFT function, which is actually implemented in the ST double seven three five dot C file. So here you can see that okay, I have used the all the functions of the driver library. So which will show some uh, demo onto the one point eight inch TFT display. So now again go to the main. So save the code. And then click on the project and click on the hammer icon to compile the project. So now you can see that the code is compiled successfully without any errors. Of course, there is a warning that is uh, ERT handle was set but not never used. Okay, that is true because here we have declared the handle and we haven't used that handle. No problem. So now go ahead and connect the uh, 1.8 inch TFT LCD as shown in this diagram, and then. Connect the MSP432 to your computer, and then now click on the debug icon to launch the debug prospector. So once the debug prospector is open, so click on the resume button to upload the code onto the MSP432. So once the code is uploaded onto the MSP432, you will be able to see a demo onto the 1.8 inch TFT LCD display. So thanks for watching it if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you